Hi everyone, it's Renee with Delaney Jane Cards and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card featuring some Birch Press um, Designs products as well as some Open Studio products. I'm using the Rainbow Days Lingo Notes stamp set. That's where I'm getting the rainbow from and the hello. And I have the coordinating dies and um, that's what you see there above my misty is the coordinating dies. I love these kind of open letters on the hello. You can fill them in with color, which I do, but you can fill them with color. You can leave them plain. I can see this being absolutely beautiful on black with white embossing. So here, this is a piece of the open studio um, watercolor cardstock. I really like it. It's really heavy. Um, it's very, very easy to work with and um, takes water really well. So here I'm a little bit off screen. Um, as you know, I'm in the new craft space and I'm still learning it. Um, and honestly, I guess I was more into what I'm doing than paying attention to what I was filming, which um, my apologies. Um, sometimes we just need to lose ourselves in, in making the things, right? So here I'm just um, making each of the bows and the rainbow wet. I'm using my brush here, which is just a little cheapy from the, I don't know, dollar store. And I'm filling in every other bow of the rainbow first. So I did red. I skipped where the orange will be put in yellow. And you know, I like how thick the bows are in the rainbow because you could do some really cool shading and, you know, get some, some pretty cool effects. But what I'm doing here is concentrating the color on one end and then letting it fade kind of toward the other. So here again, skipping where the green was, adding the blue, and I am probably doing my watercolor completely wrong. Um, I'm picking it up out of the pans and well, it just is what it is for me. I don't have a ton of space and I don't have a ton of experience with watercolors either. Um, in 2019, I did a, maybe 2020, I did a, kind of a series in March of, I think 2020, where I focused on um, watercoloring. I, I didn't get very good at it though. <laughs> anyway, you don't have to be good at it to make a really cool, pretty, beautiful looking thing. And I, here is a perfect example. Um, one of the reasons this card turns out so wonderful is these products are pretty simple and easy to work with and they help you make very beautiful things. So if you're looking for, you know, something quick that somebody might be like, wow, how would you do that? Birch Press Designs, Open Studio, all that kind of jazz would be <laughs> really good for you because um, it is for me. So here I was just deepening that blue, making sure that there was enough color on there that when the watercolor dried back, it would still look blue. So now I've let it dry and, or, well, I don't know if it's dry, but it's later. And now I'm going to go ahead and add color to the hello. Now, when I pulled this color out of my Sukineko watercolors, I thought it was purple. And then here I'm realizing not very purple. It appears to be blue. So I was sad and wrong. And I was contemplating all my choices right there. <laughs> What I decided to do is go ahead and fill in the color on these letters. I wanted it to be darker at the bottom and fade up to white near the top. Very similar effect than what I did on the rainbow. But I also needed to honor the color purple because, well, it's important. Purple matters to me. And there wasn't a spot in the rainbow for purple. I mean, you could creatively have done it, um, but I decided to add purple to that hello and in the end I was very happy. Oh I left this part in because these dies came connected and here this is just a snips from the hardware store. So I'm going in and snipping these apart. Uh, I didn't know if there's anybody watching that has never seen this done. It's actually not that difficult to snip these apart and if you only have one tab you can see that you can bend it back and forth and kind of pull them apart. Um, they are sharp. The snips are sharp and the spot where the dies come apart are also sharp. So just be careful. 
be mindful. And then um, anywhere that the little like sticky, not sticky tab, like anywhere that the little tab still sticks out, if you're going to cut them off, um, like you can see here on, on the O, I put them in a microfiber cloth. It catches the little thing um, that I'm cutting off. It doesn't fly in my eyeball because that's very important to me that I can still see after I'm done cutting them apart. And then I shake that into the trash can. So here I pulled out a piece of the glitter card stock that um, Birch Press does have. It's a very thick card stock. I've done a couple of different videos using it. Uh, it works really good with alcohol inks. So there's that. Um, but here I cut out the rainbow and the hello and some of the clouds. And now I'm picking a sentiment. And this, uh, I don't even remember what it says. We'll see when it shows up. Um, they have a lot of really good sentiments on here. And I could make a hundred cards with this set. It's very, very pretty. Actually, the stamp set's right in front of me, so we'll cheat. Sending rainbow wishes is what it says. Oh, oh, I also used this embossing folder. Super deeply etched. I think it's supposed to be water, but I seen wind. You know how, like, in the cartoons, they do the swirly wind and all that stuff? Totally saw wind when I seen this. And I just um, embossed a piece of the metallic cardstock. Um, I'll have the the glitter cardstock, the stamp set, the dies, the all the things. I'll have them all listed and linked below so you can find them yourself because this is like one of the coolest embossing folders. It's one of those super deeply etched ones. Apparently I can't line up that um, panel on that black cardstock either. I don't know. Um, but I could see so many techniques done with this and I'm sure you will see this again. So here, now I have all my pieces. I heat embossed this Sending Rainbow Wishes on a piece of black cardstock and cut that out. I'm trying to figure out what my like layout is going to be. I added um, adhesive, just um, multimedia mat behind the things that we're going to lay flat. And I, I use that because this is glossy metallic cardstock and I wasn't sure um, if all adhesives were equal when it came to this. I'm sure everything that you have probably would stick. I don't know about like a glue stick, but everything else probably would work. Um, but I used that multimedia mat just to be safe. I popped up the rainbow and then popped up the one cloud, but only where the, you know, was underneath the rainbow there. The part that actually touches the rainbow, I used more of that multimedia mat. And here I added a third little tiny cloud just to add a little bit of interest. I thought it needed, needed that little set of clouds, especially because the hello is in um, the little sentiment strip are going to anchor the other side of the rainbow. So I wanted to make sure that um, we anchored both sides. I just think it looks a little more aesthetically pleasing and the rainbow wishes kind of stretches across the rainbow there. And then I did pop up hello. Um, I guess I didn't show where I changed the color to more of a purple, but I did. And now I pulled out these Birch Press Designs gems and I did lose a tiny bit of footage. So you don't see me actually put them on, but here you can see I've added one of each of the colors in the rainbow over off to the side. So here is a photo of my card. Like I said, everything will be linked below. Thank you for stopping by. And as I always say, give cards generously. Bye.